Uh, can I have a small another round of applause for my mother, please? Even if you don't like me, you should have found the applause because she birthed me. This wasn't easy if you can't tell the size of my head. Your low profile. Not easy here. She was the disciplinarian. She played down the wall. There was no wait till dad gets home. The shit was handled right there. <laughs> there was a fresh use. We knew we were being really bad. We got this phrase. Word for word, we were being really bad. If you don't stop that, I'm gonna break your arms and legs. <laughs> Which gets you thinking, because you know you're young and you're learning about threats. <laughs> so you're thinking to yourself, I don't think you're gonna break my arms and legs in front of all these people in Walmart. <laughs> but I did tell Johnny I was gonna play hide and go seek with him this afternoon, so that wouldn't work. <laughs> I found public dis discipline, excuse me, is tough. And I found that about 75% of it happens in the grocery store. There's something about the grocery store that just makes me want to be bad. <laughs> When I was little, I would ride, you know, the shopping cart too, you know, when I was little last year. Um, <laughs> so and uh, anyway, I used to play a game that uh, I like to call, when we were shopping, of course, I was riding in the cart. Play a little game I like to call, see how many items I can grab off the shelf <laughs> and successfully get into the cart. <laughs> Mom really didn't like that game too much. So she got smart. She started shopping in the middle of the aisle, going to the shelf, grabbing what she needed, and coming back. But I didn't let this frustrate me. I didn't wait a little line, because I got smart. I figured out that sooner or later, another shopper would come down. <laughs> and what is the proper etiquette when another shopper comes down your aisle? You move to the side. <laughs> Which to me, was the hypothetical person pressing the B button, or res resume game now. <laughs> And I would go at it. And this is when one of my favorite parenting skills occurs. It's the fussing while maintaining a smile. Something I like to call the clinching smile. Because moms don't like to fuss. They like to make sure you know it seems like everything's under control. So, and I would grab something, you know, food or something I want to play with. And I would hear, Put the chocolate chips back on the shelf. <laughs> Don't think I can't see you. Put the chocolate chips back on the shelf. <laughs> Put the chocolate chips back on the shelf. <laughs> Excuse me one second. Do you want me to break the <laughs> 